Welcome to another Fortnite action figure review. Today we're going to look at Frostbite, the solo mode figure, and this is from Jazzwares. They're the ones who put this together. And he looks really pretty cool. I love the color, but we'll get to that in a minute. We'll flip the box around here. I guess, I don't know, is this a card or a box? What is this? Anyway, I'm used to cards. But anyway, here's the back. You got the full art, you got the cross sale for Series 3. And right here, Frostbite, brave the cold. And he looks like he could brave the cold. So anyway, we're going to open this guy up. We're going to take a look at the figure itself, not the box. Who cares about the box? Okay, maybe a collector. But anyway, we don't care about the box right now. So we're going to open this thing up. Be right back. And out of the package, he is. And we've got a pretty standard metal building material figure stand. There's the peg for the foot to sit on. Or not sit on, but you know to stay, stand on. We get the common and the regular Fortnite collector's guide for four-inch figures. We'll set that off to the side. And then we get his harvesting tool. This is called the chill axe. And that's kind of cool. Look at it. He actually kind of matches him. Let's knock him over there. Come on, you. You can stand back up. No, maybe you can't. There we go. And it's got a white handle with blue and black. Maybe this is really dark gray splotches on it. It's kind of cool looking. It looks, I don't know about you, but this looks real familiar. Um, maybe, you know, it looks a lot like, say, this. This is the cliffhanger, and this came with the visitor from Series 1. So this is actually just a recolored cliffhanger from Series 1. Can you tell? Yep, looks just the same. Same handle, same little notch. Anyway, so this is something we have seen before, but it's still, it's really cool in the new uh, deco. Now we'll get to this guy who, you know, you'd think he looks familiar, doesn't he? Well, this is none other than the Raptor base figure. And I say base figure because there are some differences. So, whoosh, here's Raptor. And if you notice, he's got the same headset, but... Raptor doesn't have these cool snow goggles. See? You can see his eyes. When we flip him around, if you notice, Raptor's got grenades on his the back of his belt, whereas Frostbite has pouches back here. And I believe that's the... Got to keep the figures lower. I believe that is the, the difference, the two differences from Raptor to Frostbite. Now, this mold was also used for Havoc Series 2. So, so far, we've got a really good run. Uh, Raptor Series 1, Havoc Series 2, Frostbite Series 3. Who's going to use this mold in Series 4? But, we don't have the headset or the goggles on Havoc. And we don't have anything attached to the back of his belt. So, he just doesn't have any of that stuff attached to him. Anyway, we're not here to look at those figures. We've seen those figures before. We're here to look at Frostbite, and you know, we may be using that same mold, but the little differences make him really cool. Yeah, he looks similar, but I like this figure. Maybe it's the colors, maybe maybe I've always liked the look. I don't know. When I saw Raptor the first time, I said, I want that figure. I thought that was really cool. So what's his articulation? Well, it's going to be really, really similar, actually. It's going to be identical to Raptor. So I'll go through the... Uh, the articulation just because this is a new character but I'll also link you to the video to Raptor if you want to see that one and I'll also uh, link you to the video for Havoc so his shoulders rotate like so and the shoulders have a little bit of hindrance right there but they will rotate all the way around and they will go up a little ways the shoulders, not the shoulders, I'm sorry, the elbows will rotate all the way around, as will the wrists. They'll rotate, and they also bend back and forth and hinge. His head will mostly rotate. I would say don't make it rotate. These, uh, This headset might come off, and if it comes off, you won't get it back on. And it won't really move back and forth. There's no room. So the head's got a ton of hindrance. We got a nice wiggly torso. We have a waist that should, should turn around, like so. And he's got some really good jumping uh, 
leg movement there. His thighs rotate and he's got double knee joints with no real hindrance. The ankles rotate and they go back and forth real nice. The only main hindrance on this guy is around the head and the shoulders depending on how you want to move him around. Let's uh, put the harvesting tool, the chillax, just chillax man. Okay, I probably won't say that again. But we'll put the chillax in his possession. We'll get him on his figure stand, which by the way, I noticed the raptor figure had difficulties uh, standing on a lot of the building material stands. This guy seems to be able to. So anyway, this is Frostbite. There's not much more to talk about. Here he is, and here we go. We'll see you tomorrow on the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you have something to say. Oh, and I absolutely love when you share them. Thank you. See you tomorrow.